Well, <laughs> there was nothing on TV today, so I decided I'm going to go check out the free movie section on Comcast On Demand. And sure enough, there were a few new horror films. One of them, Rise of the Dead. I thought, oh, zombie movie. I'm tired of zombie movies, but you know what? It beats nothing. Beats doing nothing. So I decided I'm going to pick it up. I believe it was from 2008. Select it and start watching it. Yeah, I should have read the description. Let me explain this film to you real quick. The storyline... No idea what that was. The storyline essentially is a mother got knocked up. Or a, a teenager, I should say, gets knocked up. Puts her baby up for adoption. Baby gets adopted by a heavily Christian family. Christian family has the baby taken away. Christian mother curses the baby. Why? I don't know. The baby is given to another family. Middle of the night, the father goes out, or middle of the day, I don't know, something, goes out and chases a raccoon. Comes in, him and the wife are fighting, baby's now a toddler, toddler picks up the gun, puts it in his mouth, which is fantastic parenting to whoever that baby belongs to. Great job letting your child put a freaking gun in his mouth for a film. And the toddler shoots himself and dies. Want to know the premise after all this? The baby's trying to find his mommy by taking over the bodies of everybody nearby and killing people. Three to four year old toddler, spirit comes back from the dead, takes over various people, and starts killing. Really? 80 freaking minutes of that? Maybe less, I don't know, because this was on Fearnet and they added commercials. Baby finds the father and gets into the body of the woman that the father was having sex with and kills him off screen. The baby takes over various individuals to try and kill the mother. Uh, also takes over a priest who kills the adoptive mother that puts a curse on the child. Uh, the, it was a priest in the middle of a sermon, picks up, uh, I think it was a Virgin Mary statue, and just starts bludgeoning her. No one does a damn thing, they just let it go. I have never seen a more ragtag group of stupid characters in my life. I love the one girl, I'm even gonna take a shower, leaves the door unlocked, for the mother, who was at work and forgot her key, hears something, goes to the door, finds it ajar, goes to the kitchen and finds all the knives on the ground, and then starts walking around. Sure enough, she dies. Why she didn't escape, run away, do the common sense thing, I don't know. And then the mother is running around telling people, my child is taking over the bodies of people. Yeah. Thankfully, they kind of work it in. They have the cop that arrests her constantly, brings her in for questioning because all these law-abiding citizens are trying to kill her. He actually sees the transformation firsthand. And I tell you what, this movie was boring. There was nothing all that good about it. And towards the end, <laughs> the last seven, eight minutes of the film, I'd say, maybe less, it becomes very, very uncomfortable, very fucking quick. Spoilers if you actually want to see this film. The baby takes over the mother's boyfriend. The mother of the mother tells her that the baby just wants to be near her which I think kind of contradicts the murder of the adoptive mother and the father. But anyway, she has the gun from the one cop that she killed. Or the cop killed. I don't exactly remember at this point because this is so brain-numbingly bad. And the ending just really screwed me up. She puts down the gun and starts 
coddling the baby. You're saying, come here, come here, mommy's gonna give you a hug. So, the boyfriend comes over, they hug, they go down, she unbuttons the boyfriend's belt, takes her pants off, and has sex with him. Technically, this is pedophilia, because the boyfriend still has the baby, or the toddler, in him, controlling him. The whole time moaning like a baby. Just, ah, ah, ah. I'm waiting to hear, mommy. He climaxes, baby goes in her, literally. And the guy literally just wakes up, snaps out of it, and goes, what the hell did you do, pretty much. Cut to, she's pregnant with the toddler that killed itself. And the father basically hates his life and wants to die. Like most men when they realize, hey, I knocked a girl up and I didn't mean to. Holy crap! Yeah, you know what? I'm done. Production, meh. Very dark through most of the film. Kind of hard to follow what was going on. Story's boring. Pacing sucks. The only thing that works for it is that the film is so short. Two. Mostly because I feel so unclean towards the end there. I was just so bored. I had no interest in the characters. Honestly, the death scenes suck. Oh, and by the way, the only way, apparently, that the spirit can go from one body to the next is if the body it's in dies. And, you know, it kills itself. She handcuffs the mother to the stove, the handle of the stove, and then the baby gets a knife and slits her throat and dies. What happened to this kid that it is a suicidal and homicidal spirit? My God. <sighs> At least it ended without some sort of cliffhanger for a sequel, because if this for some reason gets a sequel, I think I will kill myself. Don't watch.